to another free online guitar tutorial from Peter Lissi This is Mika and in this video I will show you how you can connect your arpeggio shapes that you hopefully uh, learned in one of my previous videos. So um, it's of course um, nice to be able to play one arpeggio here and there but um, if you want to be able to um, play a series of arpeggiated chords then uh, you need to know how you can connect these shapes. So um, instead of just playing a solo and when the A minor key, A minor chord comes, you just play that one arpeggio and then you're done. If you want to get more out of that, um, you, this lesson will be for you. And of course, uh, you're not limited to just connecting arpeggio shapes because uh, that can get boring over time. So use it with caution and uh, find out how you can use it in a real music context, how you can make real music with this. So what I'm showing you here is only a tool for your musical development. Um, let's say you have um, a chord progression of two chords, A minor and F. You have uh, common notes, of course, in there, a lot, actually, two, um, that are the A and the C. So um, whenever you play an arpeggio, an A minor arpeggio that starts on an A or on a C, you can connect them in various ways. So let's start with the root position of A minor and C, where we can go from there, okay? Here's the root position that sounds like this. And I finish on the A note. So from there I could take the second inversion from the F major arpeggio. I play the A minor again and then um, uh, shift fluently into the F major. F major now. That's what one way you could handle these two chords. And um, Let's look at other possibilities. For example, if we start the A minor arpeggio on the C note, and I'm going to play it up here, the first inversion of the A minor arpeggio shape uh, that will sound like this. <laughs> fifth to the F, so we have the second inversion that we can use for the F major chord and that looks like this and also sounds like this. So what we have here, we have a common starting note and we just have to change our arpeggio shape. I'm gonna play them both in, um, in a series now, both fluently after each other, one after each other. A minor. F major That was another possibility to connect A minor and F major. And the last possibility is quite interesting because the second inversion of A minor starts on the E note, that's the fifth to the A, and um, the E is quite close, actually it's one fret apart from the F major chord. So we could play the A minor second inversion here. <laughs> and try to connect arpeggios widely and find possibilities to, uh, to connect them and try to break as many limits as possible. Don't just um, limit yourself by 
uh, playing one arpeggio up and down, then the next, then the next. What you could also do would be ascending the one arpeggio and descending the other. That would sound for the last example I gave you about A minor and F a little bit like this. A minor ascending. And F major descending. longer series of arpeggios, um, so what? So first you take two chords and try to connect them, and then you pile up more and more chords and see what you can do with that. And here's how that would sound with the chord progression A minor, F, C, G. <laughs> That's my website, you can get easily in touch with me there. And uh, I'm looking forward to get to know you and uh, really excited to hear about your progress or your challenges and uh, what you like to play on guitar. We can talk about anything like that. Um, so don't be shy, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, so um, in the next video, of course, I will show you uh, one more way what you can do with arpeggios. Um, that's also going to be quite interesting. So. Um, Look out for that. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned.